It's time now for the Art Connection of East Texas. The Art Connection of East Texas is sponsored by the Judy Koonsman team at Keller Williams Realty. They sell real estate with a smile. Now let's welcome your host and co-host of the Art Connection of East Texas, Nita Fran Ward and Cindy Trimble. Good morning. This is Nita Friend Ward, the Art Connection of East Texas. Thank you for being with us this morning. I have a wonderful guest, a friend of mine that I met in Las Vegas, New Mexico, that actually lives here in Texas. Carol Sewell is here with us today. And uh, Cindy is on her birthday weekend trip, and she's not here, so it's just me today. But we're going to, we're going to manage without her, and we wish Cindy a very happy, happy weekend. I want to uh, tell you that Gail Lassiter was supposed to be here this morning. That's the guest that we had posted on our website. But Gail had uh, an unfortunate thing happen. One of her friends had passed away, and she uh, did not feel like she wanted to do the interview this morning. So we are going to reschedule Gail, hopefully, to have her uh, maybe the second week of, of August. So that's our plan. So we uh, send our thoughts and prayers to Gail. Uh, always we do a community service announcement and uh, this morning we want to talk about a couple. The Texas Shakespeare Festival in Kilgore is going on and they have some wonderful uh, presentations they're going to be doing. The Merchant of Venice, Blythe Spirit, King Henry V, uh, Carousel. We're, I'm actually scheduled to go see Carousel the afternoon uh, of July 24th and it was very easy to buy the tickets I just called over there and gave them my credit card bought the tickets and I will pick them up at will call so if you want to go to any of these wonderful wonderful presentations do go and and this uh, this is one of the wonderful things that's going on in Texas the Texas Shakespeare Festival so we're we're uh, happy to be able to tell about all of that going on they the office remember this though the office to buy tickets is always closed on Mondays and the ticket office is open 9 to 5 30 Tuesday through Sunday and the number to call is 903-983-8601 or www.texasshakespeare.com and you can order your tickets online so that's what's going on in Kilgore and and I encourage you to go over and see some of those wonderful presentations many of the uh, actors and actresses are professional so it's a very very well run and well done uh, presentation I also want to talk about an art show that is coming up for the Tyler Museum of Art and I visited yesterday with, with an artist that's well known here in Tyler, Don Bristow, and we had such a wonderful visit, and, and I was quite uh, taken with all of his art, the kind of art that he does, and it, it's, it's so unusual uh, because he does it through his computer, and he does it on metal, and uh, you just would have to see some of his pieces, but he is going to be in the art show coming up that's Art of Peace, and we're going to get the dates of that from the museum. And I hope to be able to interview someone from the museum about this because I think it's a very, very uh, good show to be thinking about going to. The Tyler Museum of Art has some great things to be involved in. We always want to thank our sponsors, Brad Bergfield of the Bergfield Insurance Agency. Brad's been a sponsor from the beginning. The Judy Kunzman team at Keller Williams, she is our sponsor for the next three months, and we appreciate Judy. Larry Lott, who is going to actually be with us next week, he is one of our sponsors, and Tracy Brevard of a Goalie Gallery. And uh, spoke with Tracy last night, and she and I just enjoy talking to each other, and she's, she's such a great gal. So go by the Go Leaf Gallery there and uh, visit with her. So we want to talk about our upcoming shows, and uh, I'm going to announce this again before, before I close the show today. We have Carol Sewell today, who's standing in for Gail Lassiter. Thank you, Carol, for being here. And like I said, Larry Lott the interior designer here in Tyler. He's going to be here next Saturday. 
And then on the 30th, Elaine Usnusen is going to be here. She lives here in, in Texas, but she is from South Africa. We have her art in the gallery uh, at Valorosa Designs and Gallery in Bergville Center. And it truly, she has some of the most beautiful art. Uh, and I was saying that we're going to try to have Gail Lassiter reschedule back in August for August the 6th. Then I have Jake Arnold, a young man who is working on his MFA at uh, the University of Texas here in Tyler, the Fine Arts Department. And then on the 20th of August, Don Bristow is going to be here. And then we have a surprise guest on August 27th, if we can make that work. We have someone online for that. So it's going to be a fun time for us to be working out the next couple of months of our shows. Well, Carol, good morning, and it's so good to have you here, and thank you for for uh, making the trip down from Dallas. Well, thank you for having me. You're welcome. And I wanted to let Carol tell you how she and I met each other. We had a little glitch. <laughs> good morning, Carol, and I, I'm thanking you for being here, and, and you drove down from Dallas this morning, and I appreciate you coming down. Well, thank you for having me. Tell tell our audience how you and I first met, because uh, we met in Las Vegas, New Mexico. That's how we actually met each other. Yes, yes. It's interesting how you go somewhere, <laughs> and and then all of a sudden you're talking to someone and realize that you came from the same place and went to the same school and <laughs> did the Apache Bell thing yes, and all that stuff. that's right. So, yeah, we were on our way to Taos, New Mexico. And uh, we stopped in Las Vegas, had never been there before, so we were just wandering around looking in the shops, and I happened in, in your little store that mm -hmm. you had at that time. It was in the Plaza Hotel. It was called the At the Plaza Wine and Gift Shop is what it was called. And uh, so we, we just looking around, and we started visiting and discovered all this that we had in common. Yes, which is all of what? Tell me again. Tell tell me again. Well, we both went to school here in Texas, in East mm -hmm. Texas. You went to Robert E. Lee. I went to Robert E. Lee. Uh-huh. And I went to TJC. Yes. And I was an Apache Bell. Yes, but I'm a few years ahead of you. Yes, yes. yes. And so I didn't know you then. I didn't. Our paths did not cross until New Mexico. That's right. But you... One of the things that caught my attention is because I had the radio show out there where I interview artists out there just like we do here. And you and I always was interested in authors and I was interested in actually performing artists. And we interviewed the same type of artist there that, that we do here. And when I found out you were an author, I was very interested in having you come on the radio show. And we tried to make that happen two or three times, but it seemed like, you you were not in town on the days of my radio show, and, and we just never could make it happen. So it's taken us, what, five or six years? Just about. <laughs> <laughs> to get you on the radio with me. But thank you for being here again. Uh, thank you, Again, thank you for being here this morning. I, I'm, I'm excited to be able to talk about your work and, and you being an author. And uh, it, it's an artistic talent in itself. And, and the writing. So let's talk about your education. How did you, what was your journey to get to where you are as far as being a, an author? Well, I, uh, when I left TJC, I went to Oklahoma City University and finished my degree, which is in sociology. Mm -hmm. And uh, writing was really never anything on my radar. Mm -hmm. So um, just uh it kind of came about through life experiences and all the things that I was involved in over a period of time. And then as I was uh, having a, a middle of the night crying out to God moment, then uh, he dropped this idea for a book. And so uh, that's how it all began. Mm -hmm. And I had never done anything like that before. So it took me a while wandering around to get it all figured out, but eventually I did, and in 2010, uh, the book was published. Okay. We're going to take a break because it's time for us to um, break it 
in a moment. And when we come back, we're going to talk about that journey that you took to get that first book published, not only the idea for the book, but the process you took to get it published. Because there are a lot of people out there with ideas that want to publish a book, and there are lots of ways this day and time to get them done. That's right. At 11, set a new button for 97.5 FM, KTBB. Are you looking for an excellent and professional real estate team? Judy Kunzman and her team of professionals at Keller Williams Realty are ready and excited to help you with your real estate needs. With Judy having 20 plus years of experience, she's definitely the person to have working for you. She brings her enthusiasm and professionalism required to get you to the closing table. And Judy will make buying or selling a home easier for you. Call the Judy Kunzman team today, 903-581-0111. They're selling real estate with a smile. Join Larry Lott Interiors by registering at tylerpaper.com for the virtual house inside-outside contest. And join Larry for the biggest housewarming sale in East Texas at 512 East Ferguson, Tyler. And we're celebrating with a huge discount event. Get 40 to 50% off everything in the store, from furniture to accessories, and 20% off custom orders. That's a huge savings on name brands, perfect for any home. The virtual house at tylerpaper.com home improvement contest with an opportunity to win a free in-home consult from Larry Lott. Geico applauds your inner ride leader. An enthusiastic engine rev goes out to the biker in you who leads the pack. Even if that pack is a party of one, you're still a leader to Geico. To prove it, Geico will insure your motorcycle with great rates and 24-7 customer service. And with Geico by your side, you're never cruising solo which means you've just been nominated as a real ride leader. Congrats. The smell of fine leather and trailblazing is in your future. Geico Motorcycle. See how much you could save. And now, Geico Saving Stories. Joseph John McQuaid was a neighborly fellow. However, something changed after he spent 15 minutes on Geico.com. Joseph John demanded we all start calling him Cash. Cash money. Cash money indeed. The neighbor formerly known as Joseph John had saved hundreds on his car insurance by switching to Geico, making money his middle name. He even made it legal. Geico. Spend 15 minutes and 15% or more in savings could be in your name. When your air conditioner dies, now that's an emergency. So what you need above all things is a professional, friendly, no-nonsense team of experts that will respect your budget and your urgency. That team is the original Evans Air Conditioning. A few months ago, we had them replace our old system with a high-efficiency Linux unit. The savings on our electric bill have been dramatic. I'm talking 50%. The change in our home has been dramatic in both comfort and money. Now, you may not save 50%, but call the folks at the original Evans Air Conditioning and let them show what a new Linux or train system can do for you. Rick and Dixie Walker have built an outstanding reputation. Licensed, insured, and a staff of certified air conditioning and heating pros. I've known them for 10 years, and that means the original Evans Air Conditioning will be around to back up that warranty. Call 903-561-9410, 561-9410, or even easier, on the web at evansair.net. The original Evans Air Conditioning, license number A105-99E. Not all septic service companies are alike. The most expensive type septic system is the septic system that doesn't work. That's Joey Ridgel, owner of Joey Ridgel Septic Service. You as a homeowner, you need to know what type of soil you have and then what type of septic system is suitable for that soil. Really, you need to contact a professional. Joey Ridgel Septic Service is East Texas' largest and most experienced septic system company. We send a, a guy out, Mark. He's been doing it for over 20 years himself. He performs a soil analysis. And when he performs that soil analysis, he's going to look at that soil at four and five foot deep, and then going to make a recommendation based upon that of what type of septic system is suitable for that location. For septic system installation, maintenance, and repairs, let Joey Ridgel Septic Service put your mind at ease. Joey Ridgel Septic Service, East Texas' number one septic service company. Online at ridgleseptic.com. Joey Ridgel Septic Service. Listen on your smartphone. Just search QTBB in the App Store. It's free. Sponsored by Tyler Ford. We're back with the Art Connection of East Texas. I'm Nita Friend Ward and want all of you who love and, and know Cindy Trimble to know that she's off on a birthday weekend and she's not here today. So we're having to uh, do this without her, and I just don't know that I can do this very well without her. But we're going to manage. We're going to muddle through this. Thank you, Carol, for being here. You're an author. 
And uh, you told me at one time that your you your mom and father were one of the first people to build a home out at Hideaway. Yes, they were. Tell they me were. about that. Well, uh, about a year after I got married, uh, I get, we came to visit. And they said, oh, here, we're going to take you out and show you a lot that we bought, and we're going to build a house. <laughs> and we drove out to Hideaway, and there was nothing there. And so we're driving around, on the, except for the road, and they said, mm -hmm. okay, this over here is going to be the clubhouse with a swimming pool, and there's going to be a lake here, and there's going to be a lake there, and and here's our lot. And and it was like, wow. And then the next time I – that we – made it back we were living in oklahoma city at the time uh you know the the lakes were there the clubhouse <laughs> was there the golf course was there so they did it. How, they did it and, and if you drive through there now there are hundreds of houses that's right though that that's a pretty neat story because you don't get to talk to many people who know the very beginning of of the uh the entire area of of how those houses really started the first you because that's right. that's a big thing to jump into a development that you are told things are going to happen and then you sit there and wonder am i is my investment going to actually happen well this one happened big yes time. It, it did it did and partly because of the people who were the the developers and they they knew one of them and and knew that he would deliver mm -hmm. unlike other ones that were mm -hmm. popping up at that time and sure. in the late Some 60s early failed. 70s and mm -hmm. just they promised and didn't deliver mm -hmm. well we were out there for the uh fireworks show and i'll tell you there were so many young families we were over on one of the dams and there were so many young families with young children and that's a lot of what is going in at, at Hideaway now, and it's it's really great to see. It is great. It used to be mostly retirees. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So that's, let's get back to your book. And when you brought me the book and we put it in the gallery, and I, I want to say this, the one reason we put it in the gift shop at the hotel was because I found that because we stayed open until 8 and 9 o'clock at night in the gift shop at the hotel, that, that many times guests would come down and say, I'm looking for something to read. And so we started carrying a few books. We had about, I think, six or eight titles. We had several titles of books that were written by people like you, that uh, uh, even local people who had written books. And the guy that owned the KTB radio station actually uh, wrote a book about his life and living with an abusive father. And so it was a really interesting set of books that we had, and we sold several books. So we we had your book, but the book at the time was called... We the People. We the People. Uh -huh. And it was a book about the Constitution and the development and the writing of the Constitution. And then you decided to change the title. And one of the things you said to me on break was that it would you wanted to put out to authors that if you have a book and you feel like the title does not fit really what it started out to be, that it's okay to change the title. On this book, what made you change your title from We the People to What Were They Thinking? Well, in the, uh, in the publishing process, uh, well, actually, as I'm writing the book, I, I, some authors have a, a title mm -hmm. and then they write. They build it around the title. And I wrote and then came up with a title, and but I never came up with a title I really liked. And so I ended up with We the People as a default. The subtitle of the book was Know the Past, Understand the Present, Secure the Future. That part I liked, but the We the People I discovered, uh, there are hundreds if not a thousand books out there with that title so that when I would talk with publishers they would look at it see the title and then they would just not really closely look at it to see how does my we the people book differ from mm -hmm. everybody else's we sure. the people book yes. and there's there is a difference mm -hmm. so that's why when it came time to reprint I thought, well, now's a good time to do something different with a title, mm -hmm. come up mm -hmm. with a new cover and all of that. And so I did it. And, uh, and a friend of mine actually came up with a title. And he, in five seconds, I said, I need a new title. And he said, oh, how about this? 
what were they thinking? Mm -hmm. And so I, I went, I said, that's a great title. And who are the they? They are the founders. Yes. The men who uh, wrote the Declaration, the men who wrote the Constitution, the men who were willing to die and give up everything they had to break away from Great Britain. Yes. And so that's what this book is about. It, it carries you through the process they went through in order to write the Constitution. And it, the title is, What Were They Thinking on Truth, Liberty, and Legacy? Now, you have a foreword here by David Barton. Talk about, talk about that, because you were sh sharing something about David being involved with your book. Yes. Uh, you know, when you write a book, and especially a, a nonfiction book, yes. uh, and you d nobody knows who you are, I was, I, you know, I was like, okay, I need, I need somebody to write a foreword that's, that people will recognize. And, of course, I rec there are a lot of people that don't know who David Barton is, but there are a more people that do. that do. So I, I, asked, I ran into him uh, at the State Republican Convention, and I uh, asked him, I, said, I introduced myself, and I said, you know, I'm writing something, and I, I need to talk to someone who has experience with this. I have questions. And he said, call my office. And so I did, set up an appointment. Five months later, we got together, and he was very helpful. He looked at what I had, and he said, I don't, and that was we the people at the time. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't know of any other books out there that have in it what you have. So that was reassuring. And then when I finished the manuscript, I wrote him a letter and uh, asked him to write the foreword a out of ignorance because he, he does not lend his name, but I didn't know that. So, um, you know, sometimes ignorance is good. <laughs> <laughs> because you have it right here on your book. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, talk about... Um Talk about how you decided and what you went through to publish it, and we're going to have to take a break in a, a few seconds, but let's begin that conversation. When After you wrote the book and in the process of writing it, you knew that for this to go any further than just on paper, I'm going to have to find a publisher. That's right. What did you do? I have, I have a good friend who, is, who has written a lot of books. Uh, she has a Christian ministry out of Houston, and she was very helpful, and she kind of gave me, gave me, you know, step by step directions, mm -hmm. and took me to the the Christian Booksellers Convention, and uh, introduced me around to different people. And I would just sit down. I just was doing research. You know, here's my book, and I had I had a, like a hundred of them printed up just at a local print shop, and. Um, in fact, her editor actually edited my book for mm -hmm, me for mm -hmm, free. Mm -hmm. uh, and this, this was really a miracle book because I, I didn't really pay anything to get it published mm -hmm. because I had free editing, and then she helped me get it printed, and I paid her back in, mm -hmm. uh, in books, and, and it was good. And, she, and so if we go back to why it started in the middle of the night because of an answer to a prayer, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> at all <laughs> that's right god talks in the middle of the night <laughs> absolutely and so when you have moved on and you have written a couple of other books and we will talk about those and and I, we also want to talk about how you are marketing your books because authors out there are always going to be wondering how do i market my book once i get it published even is the company going to market it for me? Is that going to be my expense? And what should I expect? If you had not been able to do it free, what would it have been? One of the things that uh, we like to talk about also is in the process of, of becoming an author, have you always in your life wanted to be an author? News, weather, and the biggest names in talk radio. Set a new button for 97.5 FM, KTBB. 
On the first day of national mourning following the truck attack in Nice, a moment of silence in the Tour de France. Riders at the 14th stage pausing for one minute to honor the 84 victims. The investigation widening into the attack and the Islamic State claiming responsibility now. More from ABC's Clayton Sandel in Nice. In addition to that new ISIS claim, authorities here overnight say they detained five people who knew the gunman, including his ex-wife. And even though ISIS is claiming responsibility, authorities here have said the gunman had no known ties to any terror group, but this investigation is far from over. On the campaign trail in less than two hours, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump will make his first public appearance with vice presidential pick Indiana Governor Mike Pence. The two will hold a press conference in New York following a snag in the rollout of the GOP ticket and just days before the Republican National Convention kicks off in Cleveland. I'm Michelle Franzen, ABC News. You've waited months to bring it home, a beautiful painting that still takes your breath away, and you have just the right place in mind to hang it. All that's missing is a custom frame, that final detail that ties it all together. Trust your artwork to Gold Leaf Gallery with an eye for detail and a heart for artists. Gold Leaf Gallery offers custom framing and personalized service. Gold Leaf Gallery in the French Quarter in Tyler, framing by artists for artists. Goldleafgallery.com. As a family-owned business, the Bergfeld Insurance Agency values treasured heirlooms. The agency has been passed down through generations, so they understand the importance of insuring family history. Trust the Bergfeld Agency to insure your collectible art and precious jewels. Homeowner policies may not cover your collection. So call today for a free quote. They're an independent agency offering customized policies for multiple carriers for home, auto, RV, and business. Bergfeldagency.com. Hey, nice car. I can't help but notice you're listening to the radio right now. Right on. Yeah, the radio's pretty cool. Yeah, too bad you can't listen to it when you get out of the car. Psh, cars, man. They're like the world's heaviest radio, am I right? Yeah, good luck fitting that thing in your pocket. But, but no, seriously, like jokes aside, I got this app. Another app, I know, hear me out. This thing lets me use the FM receiver that's built into my phone so I can listen to local radio wherever I take my phone which is everywhere. So I can listen to the radio everywhere. And I can see what's playing on every station, save my favorites. Oh, and it uses 75% less battery power and 20 times less data than my streaming apps. It's called Next Radio. Try it. I mean, you're already listening to the radio. Listen in more places. Check supported devices and download the free app today from Google Play. Next Radio, live and local wherever you go. Are you hungry for great Mexican food? Go to Papa Cita's every week. The 97.5 FM KTBB Lunch Break winners get to sit down to the best Mexican food in East Texas at Papa Cita's in Tyler on South Broadway. If you haven't tried Papa Cita's lately, you need to try the shrimp quesadillas with sauteed shrimp, cheese, guacamole, sour cream, and pico de gallo. For the main entree, you'll enjoy Papa Cita's Tex-Mex favorites like fajitas, enchiladas, tacos, tamales, and chimichangas. Also, there's the chicken Monterey. It's a juicy marinated chicken breast served with Mexican rice and topped with onions, peppers, sour cream, sauce, and Monterey Jack cheese. Or the seafood quesadillas, fresh corn tortillas filled with real blue crab meat, shrimp, and pico de gallo. Top off your meal with one of Papacita's desserts like fried ice cream or a soba pia. Ask about their daily lunch specials. And the Wednesday all-day enchilada special at Papacita's is a Tyler favorite. Family owned for over 20 years, Papacita's in Tyler on South Broadway across from the Walmart Supercenter. That's Papacita's in Tyler. Back or neck pain isn't something you have to live with. If you're ready to stop the pain and get on with your life, make the choice that can make all the difference. When you choose the spine team at Azalea Orthopedics, you're getting some of the most respected and experienced spine doctors in Texas. Stop the hurting and put back pain behind you. Call Azalea today or visit azaleaortho.com. Whether you're camping at Tyler State Park, getting your ride gassed up, or finding something sweet to eat, stop by State Park Exxon. State Park Exxon has all the fishing and camping supplies you need. Plus, they have 16 flavors of their homemade gelato Italian ice cream. And be sure to ask for State Park Exxon's world-famous fudge. State Park Exxon, it's an East Texas oasis on Highway 14 across from Tyler State Park. Thank you. 
The doctor of democracy is in. Rush Limbaugh, weekday mornings at 11 on your only local news radio, 97.5 KTBB FM. And we're getting it done. We are back. The good morning. This is Nita Friend Ward with our Connection of East Texas. I want to encourage anyone who's listening that's interested in Art Connection of East Texas to go to our our website, which is assetnetwork.net, A-C-E-T network.net, and you can see what we do and who we are and what our purpose is. And you can also join the Art Connection of East Texas, and there's going to be a lot of things coming uh, for the Art Connection of East Texas membership. Carol, you have you have printed one book. You've had one book printed. And then I noticed here that you have a supplement to what you call the Honor Project. And it's called Gatekeeper 101. And it's a smaller book. And you were sharing with me that this was the particular book that uh, Mr. Gomert had talked with you about. Louis Gomert. Yes. Um this was a it, little, it's a, it's a little study, and um, I had, uh, I was at a meeting, and Congressman uh, Louis Gummert was there, so I was visiting with him, and uh, we actually ended up sitting at the same table, and his, and his wife was there, and just discovered, you know, all these things that we had in common, which is Tyler. He lives here, and <laughs> his wife works with a good friend of mine from high school. And mm-hmm. so it, it was um, it just a way of getting to know each other. And so I was telling him about this, uh, this concept that I had with the Honor Project to help elected officials who want to stay true to their uh, core values and their relationship with God. And uh, he found that very interesting and encouraged me in it. So when... Uh, at the end of the last legislative session in Texas, I had comp- I wrote this study during the session, and uh, so then I gave it to him, and he loved it, and so he ended up writing a little endorsement for it, and uh, so that was that was quite an honor, because he was uh, it was a strong endorsement. Mm-hmm. And that you don't always get that kind of a strong endorsement. Sure. And it's called Gatekeeper 101. And and you use three words here, protect, honor, and serve. And I think that goes back to protecting what the Constitution actually set forth and being honorable to that, to the Constitution and what it set forth, and then to serve the people that you have been elected by. Is that pretty much your y- thought? Yes, yes. It's, uh, you know, it's to honor God in mm-hmm. what they do, mm-hmm. to honor the people who elect them, mm-hmm. and to serve them. Yes. So, and to stay stay true to that, because we, we sometimes see our elected officials make promises, and we think that they are one way, and they get into office, and they're another way, mm-hmm. and are, it's very disappointing. So, that's and as we approach the electoral season, I think we we all need to do our due diligence in making our decisions about what do we want our America to move forward, and how do we want it. That's right. That's right. And the the first book, the What Were They Thinking book, is that's really to help educate parents so they can teach their children Mm -hmm. because we really are ignorant on the founding of this country especially concerning the real heritage of the the nation and uh, because in our textbooks they today they tend to teach that America is not a great nation that we really are uh, uh, causing all the world's problems. They teach all these negative things. So children grow up not with a love for country, but with a rather uh, disdain or bleak uh, Well, they're opinion. conflicted. They're yeah. conflicted. They, they don't know. And they're mm-hmm. taught to be world citizens, global. Mm-hmm. We're all global now. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. so that's what that's really what it's all about because we have to teach the next generation. And we, and we haven't done that in uh, since World War II very mm-hmm. much at all. Mm-hmm. You have a, a website. It's called G, the letter G, and then the number two, and then the letter G. And talk about that and why you chose that generation to generation, the G2G. Uh, well, that 
came out of the conversation b about the book that I had in the middle of the night uh, and what I was getting was that our problem here in America is that we have not been faithful to pass on t from generation to generation the truth about the Christian heritage of the nation and our faith. Mm -hmm. So that's how that came about. So mm -hmm. immediately I knew that if, if I were to form a nonprofit that it would be generation to generation. Mm -hmm. And in, in, in all of this and making all of this work, if there is an, a young author out there or, or anyone who wants to be an author and wants to get a book published, they have this manuscript in front of them. And it's a daunting task to try to get a publisher. And what would you recommend to them? What are some of the steps that you found to be uh, barriers and some of the steps that, that you took that opened doors for you? Well, the... The title of my book was A Barrier, which I've already mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, and so having a good title. So if you, if you have a book that you've written, uh, don't ever be afraid at some point to freshen it up, to update it, make it current, uh, and change the title. Uh, even fiction, you, can, you know, you can do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, because it helps, and then you relaunch it. Uh, you marketing books is difficult publishing is difficult but this uh in the last uh 10 years there's so much self-publishing going on that it makes it really easy to publish a book i i, th I just know almost everybody i know is writing a book everybody has a book in them because mm -hmm. we all have a life story absolutely and so i would just encourage you don't be afraid of it uh just go ahead because what you're leaving when you do that is you're leaving a legacy for your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. And that's, you know, that's what I feel like I've done is I've left a legacy for my three grandsons. And so you just, t t the hardest thing is, is, is God will connect you. I'm a firm believer in that. To the people that you need to talk to that will lead you to the right printers the right people to edit your book, all of those things. But self-publishing these days is the way to go because publishers have quit doing all they used to do for you. And they are now, when they publish your book, instead of sending you out on a book tour around the country where you do all this TV and radio, they don't do that. They leave it up to you to market your own book. And so when I discovered that, I thought, well, heck, I'll just do it myself. And now, what does self-publishing mean? When you use that term self-publishing, let's go a little deeper into that. What, what does that mean to me as a person that might want to write a book? What that means, in my case, I'll tell you what it meant in my case, mm -hmm. but then I'll tell you what the, uh, there are a lot of other options out there. What I did was I uh, had a good friend that was pushing me in all this who was an experienced author. And she had other books that were that she published, and so she directed me to the right people. So I did it all myself. And uh, but there are publishing companies now have most of them have a self or what they call a co-publishing arm, and that's where they partner with authors, and they will help you through that process. But then you have to buy the books from them that you would to go out and sell them. I see. And uh, so that can be that can run anywhere from uh, two or three thousand dollars to twenty five thousand dollars to just, do that. Just to publish a book. Yeah. And so I did it. Everything I've done has been done on the cheap. Yeah. Well, and you had some help, and like mm -hmm. you said, you had some guidance, and you had had some intervention. From our greatest source. That's right. And now that we have uh, Amazon with Create Space, it's easy to do that. Okay. When we come back, we're going to finish up about the book. And I want you to also talk about this great idea you have about the placemat for children. That, that, that's what we'll finish up with. Thank you. We'll be right back. Looking for one of our advertisers? Search the advertiser directory at ktbb.com. ktbb.com. Hosted by Group M7. 
Are you looking for an excellent and professional real estate team? Judy Kunzman and her team of professionals at Keller Williams Realty are ready and excited to help you with your real estate needs. With Judy having 20 plus years of experience, she's definitely the person to have working for you. She brings her enthusiasm and professionalism required to get you to the closing table. And Judy will make buying or selling a home easier for you. Call the Judy Kunzman team today, 903-581-0111. They're selling real estate with a smile. Join Larry Lott Interiors by registering at tylerpaper.com for the virtual house inside outside contest. And join Larry for the biggest housewarming sale in East Texas at 512 East Ferguson, Tyler. And we're celebrating with a huge discount event. Get 40 to 50% off everything in the store from furniture to accessories and 20% off custom orders. That's a huge savings on name brands, perfect for any home. The Virtual House at TylerPaper.com Home Improvement Contest with an opportunity to win a free in-home consult from Larry Lott. There are several things that are distinctive about American Plumbing Company. That's Milton Vanderpool, master plumber and owner of American Plumbing Company of Tyler. Number one is the quality of, of people that work there. Our staff is friendly. They're very accommodating. Our men are well-trained. And so they come prepared with years and years of experience where they can diagnose a problem quickly. When you call American Plumbing Company, you can have confidence in the work they do. The integrity of the worker is really critical. Certainly our men have seen just about everything. Our workers at American Plumbing Company will do what they say they're going to do. And they're not going to take shortcuts, which end up costing the customer money in the long run. American Plumbing Company, serving all of East Texas for nearly 30 years. American Plumbing is fully insured and is an A-plus accredited business with the Better Business Bureau. Repairs, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. American Plumbing Company, online at apctyler.com. American Plumbing Company, license number M10861. Not everyone has what it takes to make summer last. You need the unmatched capability of Ram 3500. So hook up a trailer loaded with 31,210 pounds of camping supplies, ATVs, or whatever else, and make the most of it. There's a reason more people are driving Ram trucks than ever before. And now get a great deal on America's longest-lasting pickups at the Ram Summer Clearance Event. Now get $5,000 total cash allowance on the 2016 Ram 2500 Tradesman Crew Cab with a gas-powered Hemi engine built for commercial-grade work. See your local Ram dealer or visit RamTrucks.com for this great offer during the Ram Summer Clearance Event. 350 3500 pickups. Available Cummins Diesel when properly equipped. Based on escalating total retail sales of calendar years 2009 through 2015. Based on IHS Automotive VIO registration data for all brands of GBW 1 to 3 pickup trucks continuously sold in the U.S. since 1988, Dodge and Ram have the highest overall percentage still on the road. See dealer for details. Offer ends 8 1. Ram is a registered trademark of FCA US LLC. It starts as a trickle, but then the seal in the pipe gives way, and you've got a mess on your hands. So when the water rushes in, keep the damage out by calling SurfPro of Tyler at 903-561-0168. That's where you'll find the specialist with the training to help you make sure your property is dry the first time. So when water damage strikes your home and business, strike back by calling the cleanup specialist the insurance industry has trusted for more than 40 years. That's SurfPro of Tyler at 903-561-0168. Helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. At SurfPro of Tyler, no job is too big and no question is too small. So when fire or water damage strikes your home or business, call on SurfPro of Tyler at 903-561-0168. That's where you'll find a team of specialists that's faster to any size disaster. So when the things that matter most are on the line, make sure SurfPro of Tyler is too by calling 903-561-0168. At SurfPro of Tyler, helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. Franchises are independently owned and operated. Sean Hannity, weekdays at 2. Set a new button for 97.5 FM, KTBB. Art Connection of East Texas, we're back with you to finish up this morning's show with Carol Sewell, Arthur. And uh, Carol, you were talking about blogging when we were off the air. You were talking to me about the importance of an author considering blogging. Talk about that a moment and tell about the platform that's, uh, that's available for that. Uh, there, you know, there's a, I think there's a place called the Blog Spot, and where you can go and blog, if you don't have a website. I, I blog. I started blogging a couple of years ago, and it is a, a great way to begin to write, and it's a great way to write a book. 
And in fact, I have uh, a little book uh, that's the first 20 blogs. And then I turned it into a book mm -hmm. because you can do all this print-on-demand stuff through Create Space, so it's easy to do a little book. And I have two other books that I'm working on, one on education and one on the, the importance of the generations. Mm -hmm. And so I would encourage you to start blogging. It develops discipline because a lot of writers will tell you you know, that you need to spend an hour a day writing or something, set aside some time. So if you blog, that forces you to be disciplined and to begin to do that. And to be very thoughtful about what you are putting out there. That's right. That's right. And it's it's a skill developer, I would imagine. A very it, much it a is, skill developer. It is, because you want to keep it to a certain number of words. Okay, we're going to jump real quick, and I want you to tell the audience about this placemat we have about three or four minutes for you to talk about that okay but you developed an idea for parents to use for their children uh, and it's in a placemat talk about it oh in the uh, first chapter of what were they thinking i uh do a whole thing on the ten commandments and i i and i wrote it in a way that that yeah that teenagers can relate and understand how it applies to their life with real life examples. So I had a mother tell me that that was her favorite thing. She mm -hmm. loved that and her kids really could relate. She said, you should do something that people can put on their refrigerator or something. And uh, so I, I realized in the last couple of months that there were, well, I mean, this has been happening for a number of years where the Ten Commands has been taken out of so many places. And so uh, I have created a Ten Commandments placemat that's very young it has a little flag on the corner of it and and it's really a cool thing because if you think about it your table is the center of your home and that's where you all get together and, and gather so if you have that on the middle of your table or if everybody has one then while you're discussing the events going on in the world or the events of the day you can teach your children these things and uh, relay everything back to God, what God said mm -hmm, about how mm -hmm. we should live. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so far, I've, I've been test marketing it, and uh, it seems to be like a, it's going to be a real popular thing, mm -hmm. very practical and popular. And and you and get needed. this printed, and you mm -hmm. are ha you were telling me that that it you're not really profitable yet <laughs> well i i've i'm i'm trying to find somebody to print it and i think i've found someone now well, good and so i will so now that i found someone uh i'll know after monday i i will put it on my website so people can order them well that's going to talk about your website what is your website my website is uh the letter g the number two the letter g g2g dot org o-r-g okay and uh, it has all my books and uh, what, what G2G is all about. And, um, and, and so to remember that, you know, it's generation to generation. That's yes. why it's G2G. Right, it's G2G. So and when people go and sign up for my blog, they get a, a confirmation thing. And, ev and then when I post anything, they'll get something in their email. And it comes from generation to generation, spelled mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. in blue. Mm -hmm. So they have to confirm it. If they want to sign up for the Do you block. have a time frame when you think that your uh, placemats might be available for purchasing? Oh, I next week. Oh, okay. I mean, as it, early as next yeah, week. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't take long to okay. do them. Okay. And you live in Dallas? Yes, I live in Plano, Texas. Mm -hmm. And your mom still lives at Hideaway? Yes, she does. Okay. So. And you come often? Oh, yes, we come over. And so you could deliver some to Valorosa if people wanted to order some, couldn't you? I sure could. We would make that happen. So it's been very nice to have you and to kind of recap what we've done today. We've talked about being an author and the importance of blogging and how that is a disciplinary thing and it, it helps a person develop their skills even better because many times bloggers actually get feedback don't you when you blog do you do you have much feedback carol 
Um, sometimes I'll hear from someone, but not too often. Mm -hmm. uh, it's helpful. So when you're reading a good blog, uh, it's it would be really good to uh, respond comment to and respond sure. to them. Let them know. I really like what you're doing. Encourage mm -hmm. them to keep mm -hmm. doing it. And it would also, I'm sure, even if you disagree with what they're saying, that would give them a way of, of checking to see what their thinking is and to to uh, even, even get a good dialogue going. Well, we are very happy that we uh, had you here this morning, and thank you again for driving down from Plano and being here. I know you got to spend the night with your mom, and that was important. So 